All right, so I am at school because this is one of the days that I was required to come in and it's really crazy because there's not many people here at all and cl like cleaning out and, and doing all this is really crazy to do on May 11th of all things. But while I was cleaning, I found the book that I always read to my classes at the end of the year um, because I think it's funny. Um, the book report from the Black Girl Lagoon, so I wanted to share it with you um, by video since I am not going to get to see you. So the book report, the book report from the Black Lagoon. Chapter one: Read my lips. Miss Green wants us to write a book report in two weeks on a real book. Not a picture book, not a comic book, but a real book with chapters. I asked her if I could write a movie report or a video game report. She said no. I'm a slow reader. It takes me three minutes to read a stop sign. I'll never do it. I'm doomed. Chapter two, sleeping on the job. Miss Green marches us to the library to pick out our books. Miss Beamster is there to help us. I don't think she can help me. I'm beyond help. What are your interests, Hubie? I'm interested in not writing a book report. What subjects do you like? There are books on just about everything. Baseball, football, auto racing, history, mystery, and even spies. I'm interested in sleeping. Miss Beamster smiles. She goes to the shelf and brings back Rip Van Winkle. It's about a guy who falls asleep for 20 years. He should get a new alarm clock. Next, she brings me Sleeping Beauty, about a princess who falls asleep for 100 years until a prince comes along and kisses her on the lips. Ick. Talk about morning mouth. After going through the shelves of books, I finally pick out Robin Hood. Miss Beamster says that it's exciting and even has a few pictures. I like pictures. Chapter three, book talk. On the bus, all the kids are talking about their book reports. Boring. Eric said he's going to do the phone book. He must be kidding. He's got his, nu I've got his number. Freddie has a cookbook book. That's a recipe for disaster. George chose a book about ba ballet. That will keep her on her toes. Randy's got a book about the planets, far out. And Derek's reading a thesaurus. Is that about dinosaurs? What's your book, QB? Everybody asks. I take out my book. It's big. It's heavy. It's full of words. I put it back in my book bag. Hey, says Eric. I saw the movie. It's about a green guy in pajamas who lives in the forest and shoots arrows. Is that it? I ask. That's it, Eric, says Eric. I wonder why the author took so many words to say that. Chapter 4. The Wrong Foot. When I get home, I go straight to my room and close the door. No milk, no chocolate chip cookies, no video games. I open my book. In the front, it says Table of Contents. There are a lot of chapters and 238 pages. If I read every page 20 minutes, that's 4,760 minutes. 60 minutes into 4,760 is more than 79 hours. I'll be an old man when I finish this book. Maybe I do need a chocolate chip cookie. Chapter, chapter five, a cookie, not a bookie. Could I have another cookie, Mom? Hubie, you've already had 12. You're going to ruin your appetite. Just one more, Mom. Is something bothering you? I have to read a book. So? A big book. So? A book with 50,400 words. How do you know how many words are in the book? I counted them. Hubie. A book is not a math problem. A book is an adventure. The longer the better. When you're reading a good book, you don't want it to end. Could I have another cookie, Mom? Chapter 
chapter six, once around the block. I go back to my room, I pick up the book, heavy. Maybe I should start, maybe I should uh, clean up my room before I start. It would be easier to read in a neat room. So I straighten my room. Hubie, it's time for dinner. Saved by the smell. After dinner, I help mom wash the dishes. I take out the trash. I take my dog for a walk. I start to vacuum the rug. Hubie, you're acting strange. Are you sick? Mom fills my forehead. You're a little hot. What's wrong? You've heard of writer's block. Well, I have reader's block. Hubie, maybe you should take a hot shower and put on your pajamas and go to sleep. Chapter 7. Climbing Mount Neverest. That night I have a book mare. I'm standing in front of a giant mountain, a mountain of words. I start to slowly climb. Suddenly there's a rumbling and the whole mountain shakes. It's an avalanche. I'm buried in words. I wake up under my pillow. I run to mom's room. Luckily, she's reading. What's wrong, Hubie? Can't sleep. Well, get back in bed. I'll make you some hot chocolate and come in and read to you. Chapter 8. A Straight Arrow. Mom reads to me from my book, Robin Hood. The first chapter tells how Robin becomes an outlaw. He's betrayed by an evil king, and I want to say, I want to stay up and see what happens, but my eyes slowly close. When I wake up, my book is on the nightstand, and Mom has put a beautiful green bookmark in it. I open that page and start reading. Hubie, it's time for breakfast. You're going to be late for school. Oh, Mom, can I just finish the chapter? I get dressed in record time and run to the bus stop. I'll read while I'm waiting for the bus. It's coming much too soon. I keep re reading and almost trip while getting on the bus. I sit down next to Eric. Hey, Hubie, I've heard a really or I heard a really funny joke. Later, I'm reading. Chapter nine, hooked on the book. I tuck my book on my lap and read during class. Hubie, who was the third president in the United States? The sheriff of Nottingham. I read during recess. I play right field. My mitt makes a good book stand. Luckily, nobody hits the ball out here. Hubie, do you want to come over after school and play video games? I got the latest one, Cage Fighting with Dinosaurs. Sorry, Eric. Robin's in trouble, and I have to see what happens. Chapter 10, In the Groove. And so it goes. Hubie, it's time for dinner. I'm reading, Mom. Hubie, your favorite TV show is on. I'm reading, Mom. Hubie, it's time to go to sleep. I'm reading, Mom. I've become Mr. I'm reading, Mom. But there are things working out for Robin Hood. Chapter 11, The Finish Line. I finished the book and wrote my report. It was long. It was good. I got an A+. Plus. My first one. Maybe I'll be a writer one day if I can find the time between reading books. I'll be, it, it'll be busy because there are a million, a million books to read. And here's my favorite part, the author's note. Every book is a time machine, a flying carpet, a passport to the most powerful nation in the world your imagination. I love this book because this is how a lot of you feel about reading. And then you find that book and you're just like Hubie and want more. Hope to see you all soon.